is still learning his way around. One morning he discovered the fishing village. The sun made the water sparkle and the seagulls called across the harbour. This was Arthur's favourite place. That evening, the fat controller came to the shed. There's going to be a new line to the fishing village. I have to decide which engine is going to run it. He paused impressively. Thomas and Percy looked away. They had enough work to do. Arthur hoped he would be chosen. Thomas, you will work on the new line. Yes, sir, said Thomas, but he really didn't like the smell of fish. Arthur was disappointed. The fat controller sent him to haul coal to the steelworks. That evening, Thomas was at the washdown when Arthur puffed in. Do I smell a fishy engine? He teased. Yes, off Thomas. Smelly fish, smelly new line. Arthur wished he could go to the fishing village instead of the steelworks. He'd be much happier than Thomas. The next morning, Thomas was still grumpy. The fisherman had caught lots of fish. Hurry up, said Thomas. I'm a busy engine. And a fussy one, too, said the fisherman. Just enjoy the fresh, salty smell of the fish. Phew, huffed Thomas. Thomas steamed as fast as he could along the line. But there was trouble ahead. Some faulty points sent his trucks one way, and Thomas onto the old pier rail. The trucks were delighted. He's fallen in the water. Luckily, Thomas wasn't hurt, and the fish truck stayed on the tracks. When the fat controller heard the news, he checked his timetable. Arthur is the nearest engine. I'll send him right away. It was a hot day. The ice that was keeping the fish cold started to melt. I hope someone comes quickly, moaned Thomas. That fish will go off soon. Arthur was surprised to see Thomas in the tidal pool. Are you all right, Thomas? No, but I'll be much better when you take these fish away. The breakdown van will be here soon, called Arthur's driver. Arthur knew he had to hurry. He raced along the line to the docks and arrived there just in time. Later, Arthur went to see Thomas at the fitter's yard. Thank you for helping me, said Thomas. Thank you, said Arthur. I wish I had the fishing village line all the time. Then tell the fat controller, because I don't like fish. That evening, the fat controller came to the shed. I need an engine to go to the fishing village while Thomas is being repaired, he said. Any volunteers? Me, Arthur blurted out. And please, sir, may I run on that line all the time? Thomas doesn't like fish, but I do. Then the line is yours, said the fat controller. Arthur was delighted. The next morning, he puffed into the fishing village right on time. The smell of fish was everywhere, but he was sure he had the most beautiful line on the island of Soda.